friends welcome to my workplace for hands on fico and sics training this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis and there is genular dehiscence at 2 o'clock we'll see that in a short time this is an edited video the surgery took about 24 minutes it has been edited to 13 minutes Please observe the full video. By this time, the incisions have been made. Two incisions have been made and the anterior capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye. Viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and now capsulorexis is done with an utrita forceps. A capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise to get an adequate size trexis of about 5.5 millimeter. And now hydrodissection is done. There is a suspicious area at 2 o'clock and now we can see there is a red glow at 2 o'clock. The main wound is at 10.30 o'clock. I didn't know that there is genular dehiscence. It is a small dehiscence. And the main, uh, the, and the side port has been made uh, right at the site of genular dehiscence. And I have decided not to use this side port. So I have to make another side port and now I am thinking what to do. Um, I tried to aspirate some cortex. I asked for transnulone acetate and as I wash the transnural and I find there is vitreous strands at 2 o'clock. As I form the anterior chamber, it goes behind. As I press over the lens surface, it comes anteriorly. So I take a vitrectomy cutter and shave this. I am afraid not to cut the iris tissue. Viscoelastic substance is injected and now my plan is to implant a capsular tension ring. The capsular tension ring goes in the capsular bag. It supports the dehiscent area nicely and now I hold the trailing end of the capsular tension ring with the Macpherson's forceps. I'm waiting for the forceps. I take a Sinsky hook in my left hand and a Macpherson's forceps in my right hand. And now I hold the trailing end and place this inside, the Sinsky hook goes and the Sinsky hook places the straining end in the equatorial part of the capsular bag. And now some more visco. And now I make another side port at around 4 o'clock. I am going to use this side port for use of chopper. Um, I have introduced the fake needle and I am trying direct job. I have never done used a chopper from 4 o'clock but in this case I am using this because the adjacent area is right 
at the site right at two o'clock. I didn't have much problem in using the chopper through the four o'clock step wound. And this is the last nuclear piece. It is emulsified easily. And now I am going to remove the epinucleus. Yes, the epinucleus came out easily. Now, before I come out, I hold the visco half and the assistant, assistant injects the visco and thus the antichamber is formed and the stained vitreous does not come anteriorly. As I try to remove the cortex, I can see the stained vitreous peeping out. So, I go to another place, remove the cortex from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock, now from 4 o'clock. Here, I found that I am pulling the vitreous. Inject some visco. There is another side port at 7 o'clock. Enlarge this side port a little bit so that the Simcoe can go in. And now I remove the cortex from 9 o'clock through this side port. And then from here, the vitreous strand is coming at the aspirating port of the Simco cannula. At this time, I want to inject some, uh, I want to cut this vitreous strands. So, irrigation from 7 o'clock side port and the cutter goes through the main wound and the vitreous strand is cut. Yes, this is a new cutter and it is cutting very nicely. Now I use the Simco cannula, a little bit of visco. Now I use the Simco cannula through the 7 o'clock side port and remove the cortex from 12 o'clock and 11 o'clock. And here I pull the vitreous strand again. Immediately I take the vitrectomy cutter. The irrigation is placed on a bowl and the cutter is introduced and it is cut like this, beautifully managed. And now, visco and we are ready for implantation of the intraocular lens. The intraocular lens is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens. It goes in the capsular bag. Very nice. And 
the haptic is placed in such a way that it gives additional support to the descent area so that it gives additional support to the descent area and now the viscoelastic substance in this case it is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is removed viscoelastic substance is removed and now this is some more canacord that is tramsnol acetate and I find there is some more vitreous strands peeping out we have to remove this now I place the irrigation from the 7 o'clock sideboard and the cutter goes through the 4 o'clock sideboard. Here it is. Irrigation from 7 o'clock sideboard. Cutter through the 4 o'clock sideboard and this which is stand is nicely removed. So in this case we have CTR and the haptic is supporting the descent area and I remove uh, as I remove the irrigating probe I inject an air bubble so that the vitreous is pushed backward. And now this is moxifloxacin and the step wounds are hydrated. I didn't use the two o'clock sideboard, so that doesn't require any hydration. And this is the final lavage of the anterior chip. Antichamber is nicely formed, integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.